In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the Plasma Photoshop action. So what we're going to be doing is turning this photo into this. It's just a cut with just a couple of clicks. So from that uh, to that. All right. So open up Photoshop, um, open up a photo, and the first thing you want to check is that your um, your photo is set as a background. So if it's not, um, you don't have that background text with a lock symbol. Um, just go to layer, new background from layer, and it will set it as a background. So a couple of other things you want to um, check before running the action. If you go to the image uh, menu, go to mode, make sure you're in RGB color mode and 8 bits of channel. And also make sure that you're using um, a fairly good size photo. Um, I'm using 1100 by 1700 here. Uh, anything under, you know, a thousand pixels, you know, it just increases the chances of the action causing some errors, so um, working around that range or a little bit over this uh, is good. And also ensure that you know your photo has got a good range of colors and good contrast because it only makes the action work a lot better. One th another thing you want to check is in the layer panel, if you go to this top right hand corner icon and go to the panel options, just check that add copy to copy layers and groups is selected. Okay, so one thing uh, you want to just make sure before I run the action, I'll just open this photo again, is that you notice that I've extended uh, the size of our canvas down. It's because when you play this action, um, there are streaks of, let's just call it, uh, there's called plasma, that go down. So you can see the bottom of our canvas ends here. So we want to actually get all that in. Um, and we want some room up top. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to go to image canvas size. Uh, I'm just going to change this to pixels and I'm just going to add you know a thousand pixels down so now when around when we run the action you're going to get those plasma streaks hanging down the bottom here all right so let's slide up our actions panel so go window actions and go to this top right hand corner icon select load actions select the plasma.atm file and it appears here so there's only one step involved in getting this action to work all right we create a new layer, call it brush. No uppercase letters, must be all lowercase for the action to work. All right, now what we do now is we grab a brush and you can choose any color, something that's gonna stand out. And we want a brush where we want to apply the effect. So just bear with me, I'm just gonna brush over this photo here. You don't need to be too precise where you brush. Um, you can leave, you know, some of the edges untouched. Alright, I think that'll do, um, and that's all you need to do. Now the action's ready to go, um, so just select the action and click play. It'll take about a minute for it to run, um, so just click play and then come back to Photoshop in minutes time and then we can start tweaking the colors and that. But I'll fast forward the video after click play and we'll um, check out the result. Okay, the action stopped and this is what we have. Uh, I've just applied this um, color set to you know the default look of the action so this is the um, initial colors that you'll get but we're, I'm going to talk about how you can change all that now so let's just close that and we'll go into the layer panel just close up that folder and we'll go from the top so we have our initial area that we brushed and you can see that everything grows out from where we brush so keep that in mind uh, when you're brushing over your photo um, just a quick look at the before and after as you're working away, you can reference the initial photo. Um, add saturation, so this is just an overall adjustment layer. You can increase or decrease the saturation. You can mess around with the colors. You can target 
uh, individual colors, so I can go into the yellows and I can um, you know, change that up. Alright, so we'll just leave that. Add contrast, if you select this layer and adjust the opacity, you can see what it's doing there. So I like to usually, usually keep this reasonably low, but you can uh, mess around with that one. Add sharpening, by default I've left that off. Uh, you can turn that on to add a bit of overall, overall sharpening to your um, design. Leave that one off. Reveal, original photo, I'll come back to that one, I'll explain what that one does. Um, at the bottom here we have the background layer. So in this one, um, so by default I've put on this gradient overlay. You can turn that one off if you want. And yeah, just keep it here. Alright, so we have our main folder plasma which has everything in it. And if you go inside, we have all of our layers to work with. Alright, so I'll go through and explain how I set this up now. Uh, and what I recommend you do is start from the bottom. Go inside this folder, go all the way to the bottom here. And the way I've structured it is that you can see everything's grouped uh, in colors. So we have our, uh, our main splash layer. This one is splash 13, so I'll just move this one around. You can see there it is there. That one sits right at the back there. And then we have our color, splash 13 color. So I can just double click on this, and this is where you change the color. All right? Just like that. So we're going to try uh, rebuild this one here. All right, and if you don't want to use that, or you can start off with that, but then you can double click on this randomized color above, and if you want, you can just mess around with, you know, dragging this slider around to preview or choose different colors. All right. So that's how it works um, going up the layer panel here. Okay, so let's go up to layer 12, and let's start coloring um, these. Um, this plasma. Alright, so let's choose uh, dark red. And what I like to do, um, if you're unsure of which one you're colouring, just quickly flip the eye on and off, like this, so then you can clearly see um, what part you're working on. Alright, so done that. This folder here is our original photo. So you can see if I turn that one on and off, you see, that's the area that we cut out. That's where you brushed, all right? So I'll come back to this one uh, at the end. We'll jump inside that folder, but uh, keep going up. This one here is black edge highlight. So I've moved this one to the side. It's just a simple, um, uses blend modes, overlay on top of your photo, uh, like that. It's masked to your photo, so you can turn the one on and off. It's up to you if you want to keep it. Um, splash 11, all right, let's go up the line here. So what I'm gonna do, I'll turn this one so this one here, uh, splash number 11, is the one that sits on top of your photo. So if I just move it out the side, you can see that rest, <coughs> excuse me, on top of um, the photo that we cut out. So if I just, you know, change this to a, to a red, you can see that, see that there. And what I like to do, if red is my color theme, what I'll do, I'll click on this box, and I'll just use the eyedropper tool, and I'll just select um, one of these red colors here to keep it consistent. All right, so let's go up, I'll check this one. So this is just this little streak here. Um, let's, just, let's just turn these red. Again, another streak, let's just turn it red again. All right, this one here. Okay, that's, so this one we will try, um, Oh, it's just got brighter red. And you'll see on this how it's got an X through the mask. You can just tick that on and off. But what it's basically doing is protecting the area that we brush. So um, if I hide that mask, you can see that the that uh, plasma layer overlays on top of our photo. You'll find that some, sometimes you don't want all that detail on top of your photo, so I've just hidden it. So, but you can just click that on um, to mask it um, around that photo. So then you can grab a brush, for example, um, grab yourself a white brush, and I can brush that in. See that there? So you've got a bit of control there using the mask. All right, let's get going up. Uh, this one here, let's have a look. Okay, this, we might, let's try red. 
inhibit that. Now I don't want this, see this um, bit here over the face. So what I'll do, I will select this layer here and I can just brush in where I want that one. All right. So it was up there, but I don't want that. Okay. All right, let's keep going up. Now, this one here, I generally like to keep black on the action, but you can sort of play around with different colors. Um, let's try picking this, let's go with deeper red. Oh, something like that will do. Uh, okay, let's keep going. That one there, now in this, oops, in this example, we've we'll got that cyan color, so let's check that out. So I'll just use the um, eyedrop color picker tool and select that color. Now these top two are these dots um, that you see flying around. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Red. So what you can do, if you want to say duplicate these uh, these dots, um, but you want to keep these adjustment layers, just shift select that those three colors, control G to group them. And then you can just duplicate this group and then move it around. Okay, so I'll just, you know, you can do that for any of these layers. All right, um, randomized splash colors. You can use this one here to quickly preview or use some um, different colors. That's pretty cool there, that one. Um, you can mess around with that. Now this layer above, reveal original photo. If I hide this mask, you can see that that does look that great. But what it's done is enabled us to use this mask to brush away anything overall we don't want sitting on top of the photo. So I don't want, so there's a little blob on her eye. I don't want that. So I'm just gonna grab a white brush, select this mask, I'm just gonna brush into it like that. All right, so just keep that in mind. All right, so let's go back in the plasma folder and down to the original photo adjustment. So we go inside here. Um, but keep in mind there is a, if I turn this one on, the black edge highlight, if you turn the original photo extract layer off, whoop, and we'll turn off this one as well, you get quite a cool effect there. It takes away the photo but keeps the outlines, um, which looks pretty sweet, so just keep that in mind, that's something you can do. Um, so this layer here, photo filter, if you want to apply um, a photo, a, a, sorry, a color tint over your photo, you can just play around with the density and you know, adjust these if you want. So we just add a bit of add a bit of red. Uh, adjust color. You can mess around with this here. Uh, add contrast. You can turn this one on and you adjust the opacity. And you see it's just adding a bit of contrast to the photo. Um, you can add a color overlay if you want. And this one here, adjust color overlay. So this is a hue and saturation slider, so you can adjust the saturation, mess around with the colors. So in, that, in this example, I colored a red, um, a close, so something, turn up this saturation. You know, something like that. All right, um, I might just brush away a little bit of this, like that. So yeah, really just use this layer to, you know, it's this little blob on um, your model's eye or over nose or mouth or whatever. Just use that one there. Okay, so that's really all there is to it. Um, what you can also experiment with, if you haven't adjusted um, the canvas size, you can, you know, turn this um, background layer off. Um, and you can blend it on, you know, 
it's all transparent so you can sit on top of your original background but you can see that I've extended the canvas down so that doesn't work so I would just you know I could blend that um, but you know this is fine for the moment um, all right so that's it so you know you finish your design and what you might want to do now is add a bit of sharpening so we'll just go ahead and flatten the image because I'll show you um, something else where you can check out so um, let's go layer flatten image yep let's do that and we'll go sharpen smart sharpen um, I like to use a radius generally around 0.3 um, something like that's good alright now what I like to do a lot is add some subtle glows um, to these so uh, if I create a new layer and I'll set the blend mode to add grab a uh, brush grab a soft brush so right click soft brush um, set the opacity of this you know to about actually we'll keep it at 100 and we'll grab a red now watch what happens when I brush so you get these cool glows alright so what you can do then we'll just brush it in two spots like like that and we can adjust this layer opacity like that so what I can do now I might grab a you know a, this color and It's something like, not that. So at overlaying glows on top of um, this action looks really cool uh, as well. And also, if you've got some, um, if you bought some uh, color grading actions, use them to you know, so you can experiment with different colors. Um, I've got a set of 200 called Photo Master on Graphic River. I'll put the the link below in the description. But um, ton of different looks here, and I've got some. Um, contrast settings where you can you know apply some say HDR light which adds some nice sharpening and just the passy of it there okay uh, that's it I hope you enjoy using it and if you've got any questions let me know uh, if not have fun thanks